Now we're going to talk about one of the most valuable tools that we have as technicians that I think is extremely misunderstood. And this is Fibonacci analysis. So this really is mathematics that dates back to India and 200 BC. But the first time that we see this in writing was in the year 1202 in a book called Liberabaci by Leonardo of Pisa. And today we know him as Leonardo Fibonacci. So Leonardo, about 900 years ago, came up with a math problem that he needed to solve. And the problem was the following. How many pairs of rabbits placed in an enclosed area can be produced in a single year from one pair of rabbits if each pair gives birth to a new pair each month starting with the second month? It's not so much the answer to the solution that is brilliant, but more so how that solution is solved. It's the process along the way that gives birth to our technical analysis tool. Each pair, including the first pair, needs one month to mature. We know that. We also know that pairs in production birth a new pair each month. The number of pairs is the same at the beginning of month one, and month two. So the Fibonacci sequence begins with one and one. Now after the first pair doubles in month two, there are now two pairs to begin month three. So the sequence is now one, one, two. The oldest pair gives birth to a third pair the following month. So to begin month four, there are now three pairs of rabbits. The sequence is now one, one, two, three. Now with three pairs of rabbits, the oldest two reproduce, but not the youngest pair. So now there are five pairs. The sequence becomes one, one, two, three, five. The following month, three pairs can give birth. So the sequence is now one, one, two, three, five, eight, and so on and so on. 